Hi, welcome back. Well, last Friday, MLS stunningly announced its intent to have its reserve teams compete in the US Open Cup, the nation's oldest cup competition, and stating the reasoning behind it is the schedule for its clubs being too condensed. But on Wednesday, the US Soccer Federation fired back, saying that it has denied the league's request to move its first teams from the competition. Here is the statement from US Soccer on the US Open Cup. Major League Soccer has requested to allow MLS Next Pro teams to represent MLS in the 2024 Lamar Hunt US Open Cup. After thoughtful consideration, we have informed MLS that the US Soccer staff recommendation, which was adopted by the Pro League Task Force, is that the request be denied. MLS then released the following statement to respond. It believes that there are several essential goals and concerns that must be addressed in connection with the tournament, including the development of professional players, providing them with greater opportunity to play before fans in meaningful competitions in a tournament setting, prioritizing player health and safety, reducing the schedule condition for MLS clubs and enhanced investment from US soccer. And then the United Soccer League also released this statement uh, saying that they have competed in the Lamar Hunt US Open Cup for nearly 30 years, including 46 USL clubs in the 2023 edition. We believe the Open Cup is a historic and integral part of America's soccer culture. We stand with fans across the country who want to see it remain an authentic and inclusive competition. Regarding the future of the Open Cup, we will continue to work with our owners and US soccer on what the tournament will look like going forward. So a lot to digest here. And for more on this, let's welcome in our very own Felipe Cardenas to join us. Uh, Felipe, hi. There's been a lot of moving parts today, hasn't there, with a lot of statements coming from uh, various organizations. But first of all, I, I want to know, are you surprised at the denied request from U.S. soccer? Or is this something that a lot of fans, one, were hoping for, but two, were expecting? I'm not surprised, and, and perhaps the fans were expecting it the way it came out, and, and some of the, for some of the reasons. I think what U.S. Soccer has pointed to are some very specific guidelines that require MLS clubs to participate in U.S. Soccer sanctioned tournaments. That includes Open Cups. So just simply saying we're not going to play, we're going to uh, include our MLS Next Pro club. MLS Next Pro being a developmental league, not a professional league, you know, that was a violation of, of a very specific rule within U.S. soccer. So that was why I think the expectation was for U.S. soccer to eventually push back, and they have. But I think from a fan perspective, understanding that is important. This, I think that tells fans that MLS cannot simply say we're going to do X, Y, Z without first negotiating and, and making sure that they're not violating or breaching any sort of contract. And I think now what we'll wait and see is how this gets resolved, because according to a report in The Athletic earlier today, you know, MLS clubs may end up playing in the U.S. Open Cup in 2024, and, the, and that certainly would be a big reversal on the MLS side. But I, I guess my question would be, is this the end of, I guess, what would be MLS's complaints about the Open Cup? Because they are filing a bunch of things. This is what we don't like about the Open Cup. So what happens on the U.S. soccer side to maybe resolve some of their issues? What is the collaboration like in ultimately trying to bridge this gap between MLS and this competition? No, you're right. I don't think this ends anything. I think this is just the beginning of, of what could be a, a bit of a, a, an awkward battle here between the two parties, U.S. soccer and MLS. You know, MLS, uh, Commissioner Don Garber now, uh, having been on record twice now, it could, not really complaining, but just really disparaging the U.S. Open Cup once uh, last year and then recently saying that uh, they were going to look into how they'd participate. So I think there are there are ways that the product on the field has to improve. In that sense, you can understand what MLS is referring to. Uh, but, you know, U.S. soccer has their own commitment here. They're going to have their own uh, steps that needs to be taken in order for the U U.S. Open Cup to be to become more than just this uh, a niche tournament. Yes, it's prestigious because it's over 100 years old. It's the oldest tournament. Uh, but so many things need to improve. I think in that sense, I agree. Uh, just the way it was brought up, uh, the, the way MLS approached this, it ended up being a bit of a communication strategy faux pas. This is something that not that they will look back on and probably not want to do again. But I think to your point, Chris, this is just the beginning. The, the U.S. Open Cup is not going to improve uh, because of some resolution between these two parties. That is, the, Those are steps that both MLS and U.S. soccer need to come together for uh, in order to make that happen. 
Felipe, it seems to be a lot about Major League Soccer and U.S. Soccer, obviously, but how much weight do the fans carry in this situation? Because this seems to be the only inclusive tournament that exists in the U.S. And obviously we saw everything that happened with the Super League over in Europe and just how vocal the fans were, which was one of the reasons that it led to the whole thing, you know, never actually coming to fruition. So could you see the, the, the pressure from the fans being too much for Major League Soccer to not have their first team teams play in the tournament? You know, I think the, the 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 voices of the fans were important in, in these last few days. I think the the reaction on on social media, the reaction from from a lot of the media members that cover the sport, that cover MLS, and certainly just the the outcry from fans. Uh, I think it's important. I don't think it's going to sway MLS much, though. They have a plan here. They want to prop up MLS Next Pro, a league that I think is lacking a lot of attention in their eyes. Uh, and this was one way to do that. You know, you, you're right. The Super League was was a lesson for a lot of very powerful people in football that, that the fans, uh, you know, they do have a very strong voice. I think in U.S. soccer, uh, we're not quite there yet. But in the end, I think in hindsight, perhaps we will look back at this and think, well, this was one of those moments where, where, where U.S. soccer fans, fans of MLS, fans of the U.S. Open Cup, and actually fans of lower division soccer in America uh, came together and, 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 and found some common ground because I think that's what this is all about, the lack of common ground between several entities and the, the fan voice was just a part of this i think an ongoing saga which is now just beginning to develop i believe but felipe what are the real things you said earlier this tournament needs to improve what are the real things that need to improve about the u.s open cup to make it a more attractive proposition to broadcasters to sponsors to the leagues themselves to the players themselves because there was a reason why the league and we should say also the Players Association has vocalized in the past that they were for this. They were for this plan for the first teams to be out of the Open Cup. What ultimately needs to improve about this tournament in order for, I guess, that romance to come back for all these leagues and all these clubs? Yeah, it's a good question because I think there, there there are some fixes, right? Like I think I've said it earlier today, like the attendance at U.S. Open Cup games that MLS teams host is, is really poor. You know, you can see the fact that a lot of the coaches, the players and the organizations uh, see, ML, see Open Cup as something that, well, it's not a priority. They're resting players. Uh, it, it comes in the middle of the week when there are busy schedules happening. Uh, so I think in that sense, that is one way to fix the early rounds of the U.S. Open Cup. It is now common a common uh, request from fans and even media members. It would be great to see these lower division sides become the host of the of the early rounds. And so you can see the passion of these communities uh, as they go up against the big MLS size, but that does not happen yet. And so there are some similarities to what MLS has struggled with too. MLS has struggled with star power, with with visibility, and that is what's happening with the US Open Cup. You know, Messi, uh, that, that was what made League's Cup so intriguing last year because Messi was in it and Messi was playing well and he was scoring goals. You know, if they can find a way to get the biggest stars in MLS to play in the Open Cup, to care about the Open Cup, well, that's going to increase a lot of the, the, the visibility on, on, on the Open Cup moving forward. Right now, it's still too much of a niche tournament. So interesting, isn't it, Felipe? I think, you know, for a lot of the fans, obviously, we've seen them be very vocal, as you mentioned, about wanting the US Open Cup to keep the current format. Sure, we would all like to see some improvements in the competition. But what do you think ultimately is going to happen in the end here? Will Major League Soccer be putting their first teams into the competition or is there more twists in the road to come, do you think? I mean, if I had to make a prediction, I, I would expect 2024 to probably remain somewhat similar to, to, to the other years. I think we'll see MLS clubs in the tournament again. I, I don't know for sure if that's confirmed, but that's what I think based on the reporting that I'm seeing earlier today and just the, the, the current state of this issue, I think MLS may find themselves reversing what they said and they're going to see their clubs in 2024 and then they're going to continue to work on ways to, to find middle ground in 2025. But again, this the open cup you know you saw those highlights from messi some of the great the, the, the game that he had against fc since fc cincinnati that really brought open cup to a, a, a new stratosphere zinedine zidane was, was 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 going to an open cup game and it was just like unbelievable to see so that's that's what the, those are the types of moments that the us open cup has lacked for several several years yes there have been great moments for the lower division size but to make it a big tournament i think it's lacking so moving forward i expect mls to probably be in the tournament next season 
and then U.S. Soccer and MLS will continue to work together to try to perhaps find some new rules that allow more depth for MLS clubs and then allow the U.S. Open Cup to continue to have its place in U.S. Soccer. Yeah, Messi definitely offered the Open Cup a lifeline. I think they went from zero broadcasters at the start of the tournament to somewhere around 52 for the final because of all the international attention on the Open Cup.